Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam a Wiggle on Clickheads back with a new video. And today, how did your ranked matches go? You gotta let me know how were your placements. I got plat, so it's all downhill from here. But I'd love to know your stories on how your placements went and if you solo queued why so today morello has given us a bunch of information about the game from himself and other devs over on his live stream we learned some stuff about pika's advantage we've got potential changes again to omen and other characters getting tagged on shot and a bunch of other gameplay stuff as well so i'm gonna dive right into things with pika's advantage because last week we had a video that blew the hell up so thank you for that and morello even replied to that video himself now what they have to say on the pika's advantage situation is that it's true that in some cases right now peak's advantage is worse than in csgo however this is being oversimplified which i do agree with and the issue is trying to figure out in each circumstance what the reasoning for peak's advantage is because sometimes it might be ping related or other times it could be an animation issue or movement speed or something on the server side and since all of the devs work on specific things and morello's isn't fixing Pika's advantage it's hard to pin down a perfect answer but they're aware of it and they are looking at it and it isn't every game the problem is you feel very much like you're not in control when it happens so I'm hoping as time goes on they'll either figure out the issue because some people think it's fog of war as well there's so many different things but I think that when the servers are set up and we're all playing more on 20 to 40 ping whereas on EU right now a lot of people can be playing on 70 to 150 ping which is really bad i think a lot of this will iron out so i do agree with them that it's not every time but it's definitely in the game and they are looking at fixing it and it's something that they talk about a lot and it's always important to note that that's the whole point for a beta right is to try and iron some of these things out and i have faith that they are definitely looking into it and i do think it'll be better for launch now something we mentioned before but i want to bring it back up and it's as simple as this because people keep asking is that they are not thinking about character skins they want to do them i think at some point but it does have some gameplay implications that they're worried about but it's not something that's even on their mind remotely so i'm really sorry if you want to see some really cool skins but it isn't happening right now now some of you are wondering how does ranked work why am i silver why am i an immortal well separate to the stream right have actually tweeted this that to dispel any myths taking information from your unrated play both performance and wins only determines the types of player we think you should play against to get rated your wins and performance from there is up to you and is what determines your rank now there's a very big conversation here to have about ranked especially when it comes to performance which we've broken down on this channel we've broken down on overwatch as well and that's the ultimately performance is pretty impossible to track so what Riot are doing with this system is that performance is only going to matter while you get placed and then for a certain amount of games after the fact. And eventually it's going to be almost entirely on winning and losing because when the ranks are evened out and everyone's round about where they should be, the only thing that matters is the win. But if there's no performance at the start, people will end up either in the wrong place or smurfing's a lot easier and other various exploits are open to abuse. So that's a pretty good system if it's true. I've played more than 10 games past my placements and performance is definitely still an important factor. So I don't know where that cutoff is. It's something that they haven't confirmed. Right now, I would not recommend in playing on your own because the fact that it's a beta means people are going to do what the hell they want. They're going to pick four fraggers and it's going to be a nightmare and you still may play against five stack. And unfortunately, because that performance is so important, people can bait their team in a losing game to get trash frags which will mean they will lose less rating than you do in that game for the same loss so it's something that i think may need tweaking down the line so right now focus on performance and wins as well and then we'll see what that threshold is on when wins actually really really matter over what you do in a game i feel like we spoke about omen a lot and they have mentioned that even though they've given him a slight buff he's also a character that they're actually still looking at giving some love to circumstantially it depends depends on where the meta evolves and something else we spoke about on this channel a lot as well in terms of balancing is raise and they have once again 
reiterated that Ray's is an OP. They do not agree with it. They never thought she was. And this also answers their balance philosophy on low versus high levels of play. People at low levels really don't like dying to raise. So what they've done is they've given her the ability to still get an extra grenade if you're good enough. And you get some kills and you utilize gameplay effectively to do so. And they don't give them that thing for free. And I should imagine that when characters feel oppressive at lower ranks, that's what they'll be doing going forwards. Any new characters that they come out with or any existing ones that feel overtuned, instead of receiving straight up nerfs or buffs in terms of damage values or effectiveness in an ability, they're going to be taking a look at how they can make it more skillful to get the same amount of use without making that character useless, which is a very, very good balanced philosophy. And the reason I bring up new characters is because they were asked how many agents are going to be in the game and they said that there's a big picture for agents count but they will assess and slow down or speed up the release of them depending on how people feel about it. Now if you've looked at League of Legends and how many champions are in that game I should imagine that's also quite achievable for a game like this. Maybe not quite so many, but if they're going to overlap abilities, not bring out insane unique tech or ruin the game by bringing out too many agents, I think that this is absolutely fine, to be honest. And even in League, yes, there's some super OP stuff, but they've also been known to just disable heroes when they're too overtuned. And honestly, we will almost definitely be getting a pick and ban system for Valorant anyway. So the players will decide who and who they don't want in their games. And that generally works out in most video games that's ever used that system. So they haven't confirmed pick or ban and they haven't confirmed how many characters that there will be. But based on what they've said, their company's philosophy and also what the fans want, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of agents and we're going to have a pick and ban system sometime in the future. I just don't know when that will be yet. So when you spawn in on pistol round and you're not sure whether you should get armor and ability or the ghost because it feels three percent more reliable than the regular glock equivalent in this game and you run down mid and someone shoots you once in the little toe and then you can't move this is called tagging and they've also spoken about this as well not super in depth however but they've mentioned that it's something that they talk about a lot and it's definitely something that they're going to keep in the game but with that said they're not necessarily happy with the current tagging system and how much it tags you and that they're looking into it constantly. So this could go one of a few ways. They could reduce tagging overall or they could reduce tagging for certain armor classes or dependent on the gun that you get shot with also versus the type of armor that you have. Me and Ed are pretty much in agreement that tagging and flinch is very much overtuned for this game. And if nothing else, at least let the stronger armor variant, which let's all agree on is a very expensive in game, should be better against tagging and flinch respectively. And the right now, it's just nuts. It's way too good. And they didn't say they'd definitely nerf it, but I think think that they will based on what they've said and again it's something that they're looking at does anyone else want emotes in this game because i really do now they weren't asked specifically about emotes but in this interview a question was asked which was are you going to change the character poses in the menu and what they basically said is that they don't have an answer for us now but they're always looking at stuff to make it more interesting in the menu than when you're trying to pick a character or pretty much do anything than just a static pose. Now, I had some thinking about this, and this just kind of led to me dreaming a little bit about emotes because they're really cool in a game like Overwatch, but they would ruin competitive integrity in a game like Valorant. So my question is, please, Riot, can we get some emotes at least pre and post round so that we can just meme with our friends in spawn and then BM the enemy when we beat them. Because if you're not teabagging in some way in a game like this, you're really doing it wrong. And I know it's nice to spray a salt emote on the floor, but you know, I'd, I'd like to dance on them in fashion anyway. So again, this one was not answered properly, but I think in the end, we're going to have different variations of just the character standing there because in the beta right now, every character, which is why you'll see our thumbnails on the video, by the way, are the same flipping pose all the time is because the characters don't really have any form of emotes or even stances in the menu. So they are looking at at least giving them a little more life in the menu. And I hope that this turns into something in the actual game down the line.
Last up is a little bit more about the gameplay integrity. Some people that criticize this game are not very happy with the way the smokes look, how they're just literal domes. And that's what Morello said in the Q&A as well. He said, yeah, they are literal domes. And right now, something that they are looking at trying to tweak is how to art them up. But the issue that they have is trying to give them too many particle effects or they look too smoky. And then you get the issue that CSGO has, which is integrity, where you have one way smokes. It's already crazy at the moment with some of the sage walls and viper walls that you can do that you can see people's feet and they can't see you. And they don't also want to set that up for smoke. So they are looking to make them look more smoky, but also not make them look more smoky. I don't know how that's going to look. They didn't give us any more information, but if that's something you didn't like about the game, then maybe you will in the future when they manage to fix that out. There was also a lot of questions about character lore and they refuse to answer all of them. So I don't know if that's because they don't have any yet. It's not fully fleshed out or whether we're just going to get a whole dump of lore. But if you want to learn more about the characters, they say that that's coming and that there is also more voice lines coming as well. Now, again, same with the emotes. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to choose the voice lines more that they'll just be in the game and they'll happen as things happen in the game or pre or post round. But all the things that you want, they're definitely looking at and voice lines is confirmed. There's more voice lines coming. So that's cool, at least. So guys, let us know what you think to any of this stuff in the comment section down below. Some of this is all confirmed and some of it isn't. And I hope that I've drawn the line there so that you guys understand what ones are and aren't. They're obviously looking at everything. I have never seen a developer take on this much constructive feedback and not get mad about it or make terrible decisions in a very long time. So it's really fresh and I'm starting to trust them quite a lot and hopefully not too much. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. What rank did you get? Be sure to drop a like as it does help us out and let us know you're enjoying the content and i don't even know what's going on but we keep getting so many subscribers i think we're nearly at 28,000 now so thank you very much guys and remember to hit the bell icon and next to the subscribe button so you get notified when our next videos go live we try and upload every day i'm gonna leave you to it now have a good day everybody take care and peace people